Well, good morning, y'all. How you guys doing? Hopefully you guys are doing well. Today is travel day. We're off to Dallas, Texas for one night. So let's do this. What's up, guys? Before we get into today's episode of the Road to 500 Pound Bench Press, like in every Road to 500 Bench Press episode, there is going to be a special link or discount in the description below. This week, there is a special stack. This link will only exist for 48 hours. This deal, the stack, is only gonna be available for 48 hours, and then it is gone. So if you guys wanna take advantage of it, the link is in the description below. And one more question, comment down below if you guys want me to keep the beard or shave it off after November. Let me know in the comments below. Now enjoy the Road to 500 episode five. So Melissa was all restful in bed. Getting a back rub by you, everything. Everything, we're waiting for an Uber to pick me up to drive me to the airport. And clearly you can tell something did not go right. I ordered an Uber, first it said eight minutes. Then all of a sudden he started going some weird ass direction. Then it said 15 minutes. Then he started going even in another weird direction and it said like 20 minutes. I eat, I would have been late for my flight, so my lovely lady got into the <laughs> truck <laughs> and is chauffeuring me to the airport. Uber driver, sometimes you just gotta, you gotta listen to that GPS, like it's there for a reason. Made it to the airport, hour before flight. Hopefully it's not crazy at the border. Sometimes going through customs is absolutely insane, which would make me miss my flight, which would make me very upset at Uber. here in Dallas, Texas. Lots of things to do here, but first, time to rub up just a little bit, stretch out, and head to the gym. Seems to be like no vehicles available for rental. Good thing I booked something late last night. Got myself, what do we got here? Nissan Maxima. This is our vehicle for the next two days. You guys better straddle up and enjoy it. So I got a little bit of driving to do, about 45 minutes or something to get to Mr. Chris Jones's gym, because you can tell by the title, I haven't talked about it, I'm pretty damn excited for this. Um, we'll talk about this in a second, but first I need to get a little snack, a little drink for the road ahead. Got myself a couple of these uh, Gatorades, G2s, low calories, so low sugar. They uh, are going to help me kind of just get more refreshed, more hydrated. I need that right now uh, simply because, just simply because I need it after plane rides and all that. And I'm gonna be training today with Mr. Chris Jones. Pretty pretty excited about that. I've, I've known Chris Jones for, for a while. We've talked a lot, met each other here and there. Never really got to hang out. Definitely never got to train. Um, so what perfect way to do it than another episode of The Road to 500 with a special guest at his gym at Pump Chasers. All right, guys. We're finally here. I'm with Chris Jones, good. representing Pump Chasers. Really? That's right, we're at his gym. And I've seen lots of videos with this. I've seen lots of Instagram posts, Facebook posts, all that, but I've never actually had a formal tour. Can I get one? Uh, absolutely, Can you man. give the people a formal tour? Yeah, Goku Games in the Hop by Tom Chamber. <laughs> awesome. How heavy do we go? We go to 140s, man. 140s. Can so we get somebody here to make these look light? Because keep in mind, these are heavy for me. You know, I'm lucky to maybe get five or six reps. So when we, get, when we get some people regulars here that make these look like nothing, then I'm gonna go ahead and invest the 150s for I think I don't think you really need to go heavier than that. I feel like, yeah. I mean, the 200s are just for show, right? And as you see, there's no dust on them. They do get used, <laughs> all right? That's the homie Brandon right here, man. We're looking at a big thing for this guy, man. And Maria. Sure. You look at the big things for these people right here, man. Two preacher curls, one I like to stand. You know, some people, like, especially if you're a shorter guy, it's really uncomfortable for me to sit, so I'm stand down and lean in it. Mm -hmm. And then you can turn around, lean your back on here, do some French presses, overhead extensions. You know, I like it. Favorite rowing equipment right here is the uh, lat row. Mm -hmm. No fool. I like that one too, it's a lot of fun. You can sit down, you can stand yep. up, and if 140 is too, too heavy for you, I mean, too light for you, 
you can go heavy, really heavy, like full plates. Yep. Really rope. You know, yeah. real big Dory Yates fan. You he can switch from like two arm to one arm, all that yeah, stuff, you right? One arm, you yeah. Can grab him here for upper back. The gym that I go to, because I go to a couple gyms, they can just have like multiple handles, right? Oh, yeah. And it's dope, man. I love this one. See the calf raise. Build up all the calves I don't have. Exactly. I like it. I like it. That'll be my next uh, road to calves. Road to big calves. <laughs> road to calves. No, it's just not big calves. Road to any sort of calves. That'll be the next mission. The two most neglected muscle groups are forearms and calves. No, if we work forearms every day, bro. Oh, yeah. Everything you need, man. We even got the hip abduction and adductors. Those are your favorite machines for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna realize, man, to really save your knees from caving in, and you strip your abductors, it can really help keep Oh, your totally, body man. From you down. feel it like crazy. Uh, if you've never done this machine, these machines, I highly recommend you guys trying them. You will feel it the next day. Oh, any, that's for any sure. Any ladies watching, you want some glutes, want to bake a cake from scratch? <laughs> throw some of this in here. There you go. Throw some of this in. We're gonna finish our pre workouts, and uh, we're gonna get some energy into our blood and get a workout in. Let's do it. All right, y'all, little voiceover commentary for you guys for the first time on the Road to 500 bench press. Um, just wanted to do a little bit of a change and also uh, the full raw commentary is on Chris Jones's channel. So I want to just go over the entire workout and how training is going in general and my just my feedback on everything. And guys, this is my fifth time recording this voiceover. So, um, yeah, I love you guys, but for fifth time recording it, goddamn computers. Uh, but anyways, I'm gonna I'm gonna just use my rage for the gym rather than right here. A um, little bit of pec deck flies to start off the day. They were fantastic, but I also feel like we shouldn't have gone for the stack to start off the workout. At least that's for me. I'd rather save something like this for the end, but I just followed Chris's lead today. Um, the whole workout was awesome, I'm not complaining. I'd just rather finish it, do this kind of thing at the end of a workout simply because this finishes off my pecs pretty damn nicely. And I feel like when I do destroy my chest, um, well, put it this way, some of these exercises get a little bit difficult, at least a little bit difficult to finish off a lot of reps. I can start off, but actually finishing everything gets a little bit more challenging, especially if we do like pause reps at the end, like you'll see right here. But um, they did feel really good, a really nice stretch. I do recommend doing something like this before you get into your workout, but maybe keep it a little bit lighter. So, did a little bit of pause, had a little bit of fun right there. Uh, we started off with weight dips as our primary exercise. Now this, now this is fun, my friends. If you've never done weighted dips, these are fantastic. Uh, started off with obviously no weight attached. The reason being is, you know, you wanna make sure your form is exactly the way you want it. I like to lean over a little bit, you know? I like to make sure my chest is fully activated. When you are upright, you are definitely hitting your triceps more. And this is about chest. We're trying to destroy our chest. Don't get me wrong, we wanna hit our triceps sometimes and that will help in increasing our chest strength, but we want to hit our, our chest here predominantly, right? So by leaning over, this is what happens. So we start off with one plate and this felt good. I mean, I haven't done these in a very, very long time. The last time I did them was a while ago. In fact, once I did like four plates, I really think some of my shoulder pain is because of that, because sometimes you just go way too low and then you definitely activate those shoulders and use those shoulders too much. We went up to two plates. That felt pretty damn good and we both did pretty damn well. And shout out to Chris Jones for, for being one strong ass dude because you know, in the YouTube world nowadays, you just never know. You just never know. You have people like Brad Kasselberg, and like, you know, you just never know who's actually strong out there and who's who's the real deal. And Chris Jones, Chris Jones is one of those dudes that's the real deal. He trains hard, he's a strong dude, and uh, you know, he keeps it real. So we did two plates, and then we jumped it up to three plates. And <laughs> taking these off can be quite difficult, I mind you, but we jumped it up to three plates after this, and they felt great. They felt great. They felt damn good. Or maybe it was just that Goku gains in my blood. It might have gone, gone through my entire body. No, but uh, <laughs> but for real, it just felt awesome. It just, the, the, this exercise just felt awesome, and we pushed it hard. We both pushed it really, really hard, and, and it just felt really, really good. And personally, 
uh, you know, this adds 135 pounds to your body frame. So th me doing this is like, I'm around 240 right now. So that would be about 375 pounds in dips, which is pretty damn good. So 375 and I did like six, seven reps. I can't remember how many reps I did, but we did a good amount of reps. So when you do the math there, yeah, we're in our 400s, that's for sure. Uh, we switched over to flies uh, with a dumbbell. This is actually about our third or fourth set. And so we'll do some flies and then you bring it in and we'll do a little bit of close grip bench. And this definitely hits everything really, really well on the outsides of the pecs, the insides of the pecs, everything. It felt great, but I don't really like to go super heavy on this. Reason being, like I mentioned a little bit earlier, shoulder pain. Uh, it is not 100%. My shoulders are better than they were years ago, but they still are not 110%. So that being said, um, I still need to work on uh, making sure that I don't go super, super deep and just get a nice stretch on that chest. But if your shoulder blades are put back properly and they are, you know, you really, really, you know, push them out and then push them in so that it, you just have like your shoulder blades touching the bench, you are going to be opening up your chest cavity real, real nice, and you are going to be hitting it. But what, what fault I had here was I really lifted my head too much. I should have kept my head on the bench the entire time. I lifted it up here and uh, kept it up like that. But you know, at the end of the day, we weren't going super, super heavy, but uh, I, I really wish I kept my head down uh, throughout this exercise, but it felt good. We followed this up with a little bit of incline barbell bench press. Now, this is one of my worst exercises. I feel really weak with this one. Um, this is, I don't even know, we've done about three sets going into this, just showing you guys the final one. And it felt great, but um, as you guys can see, I have a lot of power right off the bat, and it feels good. But for some reason, you know, I can do four plates on bench press flat. I can do uh, incline uh, dumbbell bench press. But I, barbell, just, it's never been my strength. And I don't know why. I'm trying to figure it out. I need to just maybe just practice it more. Um, and, and I think that's just really what it's all about. But I should be stronger in that. And I'm not. And um, I just I just really need to practice it. It's one of my faults. And I'm admitting it right here. I just need to get stronger in that lift. And, you know, practice makes perfect. And so the next time you see me, I will be practicing it way more often. Uh, I really should have put the levels of this machine a little bit higher. You guys may have seen that, you know, I am a much taller than Chris Jones. I, I don't really know exactly how tall Chris Jones is, but I am much taller than him. Um, and I need to, as a result, have this machine a little bit higher, but I didn't do that. I just simply should have. I just would have been tar able to target my pecs a little bit better. We followed this up with a little bit of supersets for the arms and the triceps. The arms were, were for the ladies, the triceps were for the chest. As I said, chest is all about, I mean, the triceps are huge, they're huge. If you don't work your triceps for chest, you will not have a super, super strong bench. So you gotta work those triceps. Um, here we're doing Smith Machine, and some people chirp on the Smith Machine, but I love it, especially at the end of a workout, and you still wanna go heavy, and you wanna be in control. You'll be able to isolate your muscle a lot better at this point and still be able to push as hard as you can. So that's what we're doing here. It was a super set, um, a little bit of barbell curls with a little bit of close grip Smith bench press. Uh, we did three plates on this one and definitely felt great. Uh, this is one of our final sets. And, and, and we pushed it, we pushed it, we pushed it, we definitely pushed it. But I highly encourage you guys to incorporate the Smith Machine at the end of workouts. Don't make it your, you know, definitely use the free weights. Definitely use, you know, barbell, uh, barbell bench and, and, and try and do dumbbells and all that. Definitely very, very important. But uh, don't be scared to, to incorporate the Smith Machine into your workouts because it definitely will help you, uh, help you a lot, especially in isolating at the end of workouts. Even, you know, in the middle of workouts, if you really want to isolate that muscle, it is going to be very, very easy and you're going to be able to control the weight, obviously, a lot better because it goes in one fluid motion. Um, but uh, definitely variety is the spice of life and the variety is the spice of games. Does that make sense? Jumping into my final set of the closed grip Smith bench press uh, right here. It felt good, um, but one thing I'm gonna tell you is make sure you know how to 
finish afterwards. You know how to release at the start, but you want to make sure you know how to close off this Smith machine, whatever Smith machine that you use. Sometimes the release is a little bit different in every machine. And you'll notice that here, you know, I'm definitely isolating those triceps. You can see that. But, you know, we're at the end of the workout, we're sore, and sometimes finishing off a rep can get quite difficult. And um, that ended up being a little bit of a problem here for, for Chris and I in order to finish this set. But, uh, so we did that, we got it done, um, and then we finished off with one more super set, which was using the rope tricep pull downs, uh, isolating that head right there. And then we did some reverse easy bar curls. Um, very, very good uh, exercises to finish off with. Um, both of these exercises isolate that muscle really, really well. So we isolate the tricep and then we isolate that bicep and form as well as we possibly can. Uh, I love this exercise. If you've never done it, uh, definitely use an easy bar because you definitely uh, are able to uh, have a different type of angle and hit those uh, biceps and forearms in the best possible way. Um, this was this was killer at the end especially we didn't show all the sets or anything um but we did a lot we did a lot of work uh trained for like two hours and the final exercise you know targeting those biceps and those forearms i want to make sure that you know my biceps are still growing although i don't really care about bodybuilding but everyone always wants arms everyone wants arms but I don't really care about my physique. I used to in the past, but now it's all about strength. You know, I care about my deadlift, I care about my squat, and my bench press. That's what I want to be strong in. But anyways, it was a great workout. Um, very, very cool gym. Uh, I can't wait to be back. But now, now of course, it's time for some food. Wait, uh, why are you waiting for your rolls? Oh, buddy. Yeah, look, Chris I had to bring me to his favorite sushi yes. spot. Oh. Yeah, this yeah. is just the first order, don't worry, mm. but. This is a good roll. What's this called again? The Hawaiian. Hawaiian. The Hawaiian. And it is warm and it is it is delicious. Mmm. So good. Mmm. That's a good roll. Really good. Mm-hmm. Guys. What's your favorite roll here? Man, I'm gonna have to say the tidal wave. Tidal wave. Crab and shrimp tapura. Mmm. Delicious. Shit. I'm gonna get fat in here. No, I'm gonna get the gains in here. That's what I'm gonna get. Guys, don't be jealous. Do not be jealous. Come to Texas, Fort Worth, Texas. Come to Blue. Tell them Chris Jones said you, huh? 10% off, 10% off. Use, use coupon code. Uh, link, link in the description, <laughs> click the link. <laughs> These are spicy right here, right? Yes, this is Wow. It's a rainbow. Rainbow. Damn. That was awesome. Mm. I had, what I is had, that, caviar on top? Yeah. Is that real caviar? Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's why you're spending so much on sushi, because you're ordering this, the caviar on your sushi, bro. I had the best, man. Got out the best. Got out yeah, the best. So these, these three are yours, and that one is yours. That's beautiful. All right, so we, we got a bunch of sushi, which yeah. is great. Um, are you excited? I'm very excited. Oh, wait, this might be a good thumbnail right here. We're doing it right, you know. Chris Jones' po policy is 30 rolls minimal. Minimal. Every single time. Yeah. Um, he actually posted a photo and he said 300 rolls minimal. But we didn't go to all you can eat. And, you know, yeah. we, we ball us, but we're not that big ball us, you know? <laughs> so, next time, we'll do 300 rolls for a video. That actually would be kind of fun. Hilarious. Yeah, comment down below if you guys want to see that. We definitely put some damage into the sushi bow. Get in there, man. Man, all is gonna be gone. All is gonna be gone. No sure. mercy, man. I'm not worried. Like I got this one. What was this one called again? The Hawaiian. Hawaiian. If you guys ever come to Dallas, you guys come to Blue. You gotta get a Hawaiian roll. Hey man, you DM you me and you're in town. I'll join you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're done here. I am. I, I gotta go, but uh, it was chill, man. Oh, it was awesome time. hanging with you. I, I gotta do a little handshake here. I don't wanna. There we go. Damn. There we go. Yes, sir. We crushed some weights. We crushed some sushi. I am off to many other things, but it was awesome to hey, hang man. out with you. And I'll be back for a day where I don't have to work the yeah. next day. No work. We're gonna have a nice time. We're gonna pop some bottles, cut a rug. Just have a nice, epic time. Shot for shot, baby. Awesome, I love it. Well, I had a fantastic time with Chris. That was a long time coming. We've been talking about meeting up so many times, and it just, I just, you know, we get busy and everything, but I was in town, and I made it happen this time around. Chris, is, Chris has been on YouTube for a very, very long time, 
and uh, definitely check out his channel if you haven't. The reason I came to Dallas, Texas was because this is where Goku Gains and Amino's Baby gets made and formulated and everything. So I'm heading to the lab tomorrow to formulate flavors. So the Sugar Clouds flavor of Goku Gains came out in August, but I actually flavored everything back in November of last year. There is a reason behind that. I need to plan. You need to plan out supplements. You need to plan out production. You need to plan out release. So I'm in the lab and I'm going to be making flavors for the next year. And I got some banging flavors. I listened to you guys. You guys told me what flavors you guys want. I took those into account. I took into account flavors that I think are gonna be really cool. And I'm gonna see what works. And literally, I only release the stuff that tastes phenomenal. So far, like Yummy Gummy Gasms, Peach Mango Fandango, Sex on the Beach, Sugar Clouds. You guys have really enjoyed those flavors and I know you guys are gonna really enjoy the next flavors to come. So we're back in the lab here and we're getting work done. We're getting a lot of work done. You guys might remember these ladies from the last video when we were first formulating uh, Goku Gains and getting some flavors uh, finalized and we're doing the same thing this time around. So. We got some amazing flavors coming your way. I mean like, these girls are geniuses here. They know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. They know what they're doing, yeah, yeah. Um, so we're gonna create some like flavors, some that you've never even heard of. Um, and yes, we are doing a mystery flavor for you all. Mm-hmm, that's coming soon. Stay tuned, guys. We're cooking, I think, the egg. We're working on a new product and uh, Pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. That's all I can tell you. You may become addicted. I apologize ahead of time. Taste test, first taste test. Tron, our mystery flavor. That's so like whack. It's good. Really good. <laughs> but flavors you're not gonna. That mystery, mystery flavor, the ingredient, I think we gotta add a little more of that one. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. I am exhausted from the lab. I cannot tell you how difficult it is to flavor stuff all day. So many stimulants in your body, it's crazy. Like, I must have taste tested over a hundred different flavors. You're super satisfied. Right now, a little bit of gasola action. Whoops. Got a gas in in here uh, for the rental car. But very, very successful day. I think you guys would really, really love the new flavors of Goku. Um, we will be launching a protein. Yes, the hat is out of the bag. The cat is out of the bag. The cat is out of the hat. Whatever you want to call it. And the flavors are just on their next level. If you guys have gotten like Goku over the years, um, over the year, since we just had it this year. If you guys have had Goku, oh, wow, that's it. If you've experienced Goku gains, you guys know that compared with every other pre-workout or most pre-workouts, our flavoring is next level. And that's what we're gonna continue with Goku gains. It's a lot of work, it's a lot more expensive, but we get it done and you guys love the flavors. But the same thing is gonna happen with our proteins. Uh, we're gonna take them to the next level. You guys are gonna love them. Like today, I was just like, holy shit, that was just unbelievable, unbelievable. We're working with some really talented chemists um, that have come up with delicious flavors for us to enjoy. Of of course, I was smart enough to go to the wrong goddamn airport here in Dallas to return my car. Luckily enough, my flight is delayed 25 minutes, which actually might mean I'll make my flight. Oh man, you know, just when you think your day is going just great and you, you're so damn productive, you gotta screw something up. Made it to the airport with time to spare, which is awesome. That gives me time to sit down and edit some video. I love this grind, I really do. It's a lot of work, a lot of stuff, but I love this grind. It like, I don't know, it makes you more excited, it makes it. Whenever there's a rush, whenever there's a lot of stuff happening, you get a little stressed, but you get a little excited as well. And I am back at home in Canada. I, I left yesterday morning and I'm back today at night. 
And Melissa just keeps re-watching her snaps because she no, I, loves no, her snaps. No, I have to save the snap and then I have to snaps. post it loves on Instagram. Loves her snaps. Obsessed with her own snaps. Thumbs up if you hate that you have to save a snap to put it on Instagram. Two yeah. different companies, so it totally just makes sense. become friends, please. Time to chow down a little bit. Melissa got me some, some thingies. Fresh rolls. Spring rolls. Look at these spring rolls. They got some shrimp and they got some pork, I think, inside or something. Yes. And then we got some peanut sauce. I think you just really wanted the peanut sauce. I really love that peanut sauce. That peanut sauce is damn good. This is something that I always get every time I go for pho. Love it. It's delicious. It's 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 nutritious and it's delicious. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. The Road to Strength ebook should be launched before the end of the month. Uh, I have a bunch of people reviewing it, looking it over, trying it out, making sure it is good for you. So stay tuned, it is going to be a doozy. Again, we are moving Furious Apparel, as you guys know. Furious Apparel, lifting gear, all of that. We are moving all of production, so make sure you guys check out the link in the description below. There is a lot of deals for you guys to take advantage of, and I know you guys are gonna really appreciate them. We'll catch you guys in the next episode, as always, my friends, you guys stay sexy, stay hungry, and get gains, and get laid. Boom!